the time now. It's 8.30 in the morning time on this Friday morning, January 31st, 2014 on a Friday morning and it's time now for the weather magician PJ Wiggins. The morning report, Friday morning, January 31st, 2014. Yeah. Uh, good morning, y'all. This lovely Friday morning, our current conditions at 8:30 a.m. in North Massachusetts. We got temperature 31 degrees with a humidity of 39 percent, with a few clouds, with a wind speed southwest by three miles per barometer, 3.07 inches, 2.25 degrees, and a visibility of 10 miles. Okay, let us take a look at our radar scope that it shows. A line of snow showers in western ports of New Brunswick, down from southern Quebec, and down from northwestern portions of Vermont, down from upstate New York, and down from eastern portions of Ontario. Better snow showers in east, southeastern Philadelphia, eastern Pennsylvania, around the Philadelphia area. Better snow showers off the north New Brunswick coastline. Better snow showers off the eastern portions of the Prince Edward Island. And a line of snow showers from Ohio, stretch and down from Indiana, Central Illinois, down Northern Missouri, down to Seven Iowa, down to Nebraska, down to Kansas, down to Colorado, down to Utah, down to Northern New Mexico, and stretch it down to seven portions of the Nevada with snow, sleet, and rain showers around the Las Vegas area. Snow showers in Northern portions of Nevada. Nine snow showers in East Central portions of California. Nine rain showers in Southern portions of California. Bats of rain showers in Southeast portions of Arizona, and down to Southwest portions of Nevada, New Mexico. Snow rain and sleet showers in northwestern portions of the Oregon, down in western portions of Oregon, Washington State. Snow showers down in northeastern portions of Oregon, down in southeastern portions of Washington, down in northern portions of Idaho, down in western portions of Montana. Snow showers in central portions of Saskatchewan, snow showers in Duffu, Alberta, here, and rain showers in central and western, west central and east central portions of Florida, here. Trusky Minnesota, good morning, 8 degrees below zero. Okay, let us take a look at our satellite loop. It shows. Better clouds from Southern California, Nevada, down for Utah, Colorado, Arizona, New Mexico, search out to Northern Texas, to search out for the Central Plains, down to the Great Lakes, to search out to New England, down to the Middle United States. Never better clouds from Florida, search out to the coastline. Never better clouds from some portions of Manitoba, down to Saskatchewan, down to Alberta, down to Eastern portions of British Columbia, down for Northern portions of Saskatchewan, down for Northern portions of Manitoba, down for Northern portions of Ontario, and Quebec. Here. Alright, let's take a look at our map situation. Air shows. A big station, a station front from Washington down to Idaho down to Wyoming down to the Colorado down to Mexico down to Northern Texas and Oklahoma and Santa Fe, Missouri, Colorado from Missouri, stretch down to Illinois, Indiana down to Eastern Michigan, down to Ontario down to Quebec. Station front, stretch down to Atlantic Coast down to Northern Station front. Of the seven typical flow to move it off the Atlantic coastline with low pressure centered in both the, in these areas of the air. Low pressure centered in central Oklahoma, central North New Mexico, western portions of Colorado, central portions of Idaho, and western portions of Washington State. Front of Ottawa, stretch it up in South Carolina for low pressure centered to death. And cold front, stretch it off the Pacific coast down to eastern, southeastern California, down to Arizona, and New Mexico. We have low pressure centered to death. Yeah. High pressure center in Southern Minnesota, Dover, Georgia. 31 degrees high temperature right now here in Boston. 28 out in Washington, D.C. 24 in Atlanta. 72 in Miami. 54 out in Brownsville. 56 in Dallas. 21 out in Kansas City. 89 in Chicago. 8 below in Minneapolis. 4 above in Great Falls. 32 out in Salt Lake City. 69 in Denver, Colorado. 44 in Albuquerque. 57 in Los Angeles. 49 out in San Francisco. And 43 out in Seattle. Alright, let's take a look at our discussion here in the country here. Snow from the Central Plains and the Great Lakes on Saturday. Pockets of rain, freezing rain will develop over areas from the Central Plains to the northern Middle Atlantic states. Temperatures will be 10 to 15 degrees below average from the upper Midwest to the Central High Plains at a front leg over the front water and upper level energy moving northeastward from the eastern Gulf Coast will trigger showers and thunderstorms over the parts of the Florida moving into the southeast severed Mid Atlantic by Saturday evening. Meanwhile, across the stationary front, excited from the Great Lakes, 
West winds and the seven flames will have a connection to the moisture from the Gulf of Mexico that will pull. Along with the demand wind and then the moisture increases as time goes on. Energy moving along the front will produce. Lights snow over the parts of the central plains moving into Ohio Valley, Great Lakes by Saturday. Likewise, wind will be developed over parts of the low Mississippi Valley that will move into the parts of the middle Mississippi Valley on Friday. A small area of rain, freezing rain will be developed over the parts of southern Kansas moving in, into the central Missouri by Friday evening as a floor of moisture increases. Rain will develop from Texas to the Ohio Valley as snow moves in the Great Lakes from the middle Mississippi Valley on Saturday. A few particles of great freezing rain will develop <coughs> over parts of the Ohio Valley and the parts of northern Middle Act on Saturday too. In the meantime, upper level energy will move from California to the middle Mississippi Valley by Saturday. The energy will trigger snow over the parts of the eastern California to the Great Basin of South Rockies on Friday. The snow will continue over parts of the central Southern Rockies. On Saturday, elsewhere on show floor over the Pacific North Rockies, today it produces close to rain at higher elevation snow over the region for Saturday morning. The snow will also develop over parts of the North Rockies, also Saturday morning. Okay, let's take a look at our forecast discussion here for New England. High pressure offshore with a light steadily flow across. New England, a weak but dry cold front will move across New England late this afternoon and stall over the region. Low pressure from the plains moves north east but the Great Lakes during the weekend draw by all the temperatures into summer New England. Exited offshore along with a coastal low will develop possibly bringing snow to the south coast into Monday. A brief lull into the weather for Tuesday followed by a potentially significant storm by midweek. And no major updates in the forecast, only minor modifications to reflect current trends. There. Caramel and stout chocolate cake. That stout, by the way, is made by the folks at Hilliard's Beer who also made the 12th can in honor of the 12th man. Now, it wouldn't be Seattle without coffee. Starbucks is here. Thinking of washing all the salt off your car today? Might not be a bad idea. It's warm in the mid to upper 30s on the breezy southwest winds. There. And we're going to take a look at the maximum temperature forecast. It's going to be 40 here in, in Boston for the high. Today, 40s for Providence and Navajo Newport and that for Western Cape and the Islands. 30s in and, and, um, Cape and Islands and it's going to be the 30s from Boston and points north and west and so should Worcester and Western Massachusetts and for the Connecticut and Western Rhode Island and up to Southern New Hampshire, Maine and Vermont and West uh, Eastern New York. And the 40s around the Hartford area. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at our seven-day forecast. It goes like this. But today, mostly cloudy skies behind you, 42 degrees. Westwood about 6 to 8 miles per hour. Tonight, most sky skies lower 26 degrees. Westwood about 5 miles per hour. Come the evening. Saturday, most sky skies behind you, 40 degrees. Come with me, Kevin, at 6 miles per hour in the morning. Saturday night, a slight chance of rain after 11 p.m. Most sky skies will lower 36 degrees. Southwood about 5 to 9 miles per hour. Chance of inflation is 20%. Sunday, a chance of rain, mainly before 10 a.m. Most of the high to 47 degrees. Southwest wind about 9 miles per hour. Chance of to the 30%. Sunday night, a slight like chance of rain, snow after 1 a.m. Most of the will lower to 28 degrees. Chance of inflation is 20%. Monday, a chance of snow before 9 a.m. But partly sunny sky high to 34 degrees. Chance of inflation is 30%. Monday night, most of the sky lower to 21 degrees. Tuesday, most of the sky skies will high to 35 degrees. Tuesday night, snow and sleep lower at 27 degrees. Chance of inflation is 80%. Wednesday, rain, snow, freeze, rain, and sleep. Hydro 38 degrees. Chance of precipitation is 80%. Wednesday night, a chance of rain is snow. Most of the sky the lower 22 degrees. Chance of precipitation is 40%. And for the first day, most of the sky is hydro 29 degrees. Peters, weather phase of the day. A mostly cloudy and I'm getting milder and tap. This is PJ Wizard. Have you have a good day with a good positive attitude here.